What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna be going into my second video in my no walkthrough and my Samurai Warriors 1 100% mission guide slash completion guide. We're going through trying to get all of her everyone's missions and fifth weapons and items and everything. And so I've gone through last week and did No's initial level just straight up the way it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna do the version of this level where uh, we get the secret missions. There's two. I'm gonna try to do them both in one, but it's actually really hard, so I'll probably do a couple takes on this. Because what you have to do in this game to unlock the secret levels on this level particularly is you have to let Hideyoshi die. Hideyoshi dying on this level is like so freaking hard to do because Nobunaga moves towards him and defends him. So it's really hard to protect him. It's very challenging and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to let that happen, but it's gonna take some time probably. So I'll, I might take a few tries on this because of how ridiculous it is, but we'll get, we'll get it going. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share for more and enjoy the video. I'm gonna try to show like what kind of has to get done to make that happen. It is really hard to make him lose because so things you need to know about this mission that makes it so challenging is there's a when Yoshimoto not Yoshimoto when Hide Yoshi pops up a guard captain appears outside the gate see it's already there there's a guard captain blocking protecting that gate and it closes so that the only time that gate opens is when that unit dies and then there's nothing pinging stuff pings all the time on this level. So Nobunaga has time to get up to Hideyoshi and keep him alive from that dude before the gate even opens sometimes. So we'll see if we can do it this time. We'll see. But we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep getting rid of people because I can. So Yokimoto's here. And that dude on their side appears. Nobunaga is moving now, which is awful. I wish he wouldn't because he takes... I might try to like stall him if I can. See if I can do it. But I want to make it so that Yoshimoto's troops need to defeat... Uh, what's his name? Y uh, Hideyoshi. So... I'm trying to like stop him move like over here see if I can try to do things to stop him well nope hmm. this could be a challenge I come for I think the gate is still not oh another gates open okay so he's in there fighting him so now we just need to hope that he loses this fight and then we're gonna try to. How can this be? So, like, if Nobunaga stays outside of there, then that would help. But it's it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But we're gonna try it. If it works, it works. If not, then just kind of do this a bunch. And I mean, right now Nobunaga's not fighting. He's just sitting outside, which is great. That's what you want. You want Nobunaga to not actually defend Hideyoshi. You want Nobunaga to just kind of stand outside of the map, outside of the battle, which he's doing right now. That's the dream, because then Nobunaga doesn't help Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi dies and then doesn't reveal what he knows. See, now Nobunaga is beginning battle with him, but I think it's late enough that I think we'll be fine. If not, then just keep doing it over again. It'll eventually work. The AI are great in this game, which is why this even happens, but you're, you gotta kind of hope that they uh, make a mistake here. You want it to not, you want Hideyoshi to die, but it's, this is probably the hardest mission to fail in this game is this, because Nobunaga's morale is insanely high right now, like so high. So you want him to just keep standing outside of the fight you want Hideyoshi to continue to just lose to that dude. I don't know his name, but you want that to keep going and then it'll hopefully work out. And if the moment that dude dies, if that dude dies, just start over because it's going to pass. Like you're going to pass the mission if you, if 
Yeah, so you just need to be patient here. This is the hardest part. And then from here, we'll be able to move on and actually try to do the other missions. I'm peeking. You can see that Nobunaga is now fighting that dude, which is awful, but we'll see. It may just not work and want we'll to start over again. But I'm not going to, don't save it, just restart it. Because it, it literally just depends on if Nobunaga does it. Like if Nobunaga gets him killed, then that happens. But if not, then you're your business. So it's just going to be kind of a patience test here. And we'll do this a couple times to make sure we've got it. But if not, <laughs> it'll be fine. i help out Nobumori Sakuma. I did not realize how beat up he was getting. Don't know where his units are. They like are around here, but then they all kind of don't help him anymore, which is weird. Right. Nobumori is beat up. Keeping him alive as long as possible. Because, yeah, you don't want to lose a general just randomly right here. I think this is not going well. But we'll, we'll see. See? Start it over. Start it over. See, that's what I'm talking about. You're just going to have to keep trying. Eventually this will work. And... It's pretty tough, like, because, yeah, Nobunaga's really good, and you don't want him to move. But let me see. Maybe I can do something a little bit less. I kind of make the pings worse by doing stuff, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just get rid of the, the two guard captains and then just move, like, kind of wait around for a while. This is me trying to figure this out because it is really frustrating, and I want to get a better system here for how to do this because yeah you don't want it to be like this where you have to decide like how can i like i don't want to have to repeat it a million times so we'll figure it out um but yeah we'll get it we'll get it i'll start here because i think i mean yeah you can fail this mission but i think what you want to do is actually do it the right way like you want to start it out effectively you don't want to just like fail everything because then you you want nobunaga to be sustainable you know the the way these levels go is once you start failing stuff you're gonna want there to be something to keep like to protect your units like you're gonna want your units to be sort of protected or else you're kind of in trouble so that's why you don't want to like fail everything i mean maybe you could do it if y'all can do this level without uh, having to... If you can fail this and keep Nobunaga alive, let me know. Because I'm curious. But I think it's better just to not do that. So that you can make sure that you don't lose Nobunaga when you're running around defeating every general. Because that's the mission that's going to pop up. Is defeat everybody. <laughs> so Hidetaka Kawala, whatever his name is, is there. Imagawa units are in pursuit. Still gonna wait a little bit before I start pinging things because me talking just is a long process if you're trying to want that once the gate opens up then I'll start doing stuff I won't take out Tadatsugu yet I'm just gonna weaken some stuff there we go now it's time So he's down. I'm gonna run through the units that are fighting Nobumori Sakuma because he has a lot around him. I wanna just get rid of this stupid um what's his name? This is a tough one. Oh wow. He sealed the stronghold that quickly. Man. Okay, well, we might be doing all right this time. 
for the stronghold to die is a good sign because then that means even less of less stuff is up there now because the gate was can spawn units now the units will spawn out of the main camp which is kind of where they should belong by the way but yeah, we'll see Meanwhile, I'm just going to kind of get rid of some people here. Because why not? This is no good. So, this is still going all right. Nobunaga hasn't really helped him yet. The dream. Don't you don't want Nobunaga to get in there? And actually, now that I think about it, I secured that other stronghold, so that means even less unit, more units will be coming through that area, which might be helpful. Just trying to figure out how to make this more effective for people. So this time, what I did was I waited until I I waited to defeat the officers until the um, gate opened up by Hideyoshi, so that they could actually like, you know not lose that was the hope I want, I want nobunaga to not win this fight i want hideyoshi to lose and so it's like you kind of just need to i don't know try try other things see what happens let me know curious that strike ninja just destroyed everybody okay, i'll get rid of him Nobunaga has very much backed up. That's really helpful. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but he backed up. I'll take it. So that did it. Now we'll get the mission to destroy everything. that mission so this is where we're gonna get a little bit interesting what I want to do here is I want to save it because I want to try to figure out if we can do if we can get rid of both of these missions at the same time can we prevent Hanzo from overtaking the main camp or and if not that can we I know we'll have to do this but can we also do the other one can we do the Hanzo mission as well as this one at the same time? That's what we're going to go for here. I'm going to wait on those people. I think Nobumori might end up having to die on this one because I think you have to be near there. You have to give Hanzo like kind of this opportunity. But I'm not going to um, save it for a while because I want to make sure I can do it. Because Hanzo, for the record... On the Hanzo bonus mission, he's moving, he's hauling, he's going so fast. So you have to be very, very careful that you don't let him get to the main camp first. Because he does, he gets really, he moves very quickly up to that place. And you don't want him to obviously win the mission. If you're trying to do this thing, you have to make sure he doesn't lose. Like you have to make sure you pass the mission. So you have to be very careful. So I'm trying to just show it. I mean, this is just my advice. You can do whatever you want with these levels. Um, but I'm gonna come down here now. I wanna get rid of Tadatsugu, or not sorry, uh, Tadakatsu as well. I don't wanna just take out Ieyasu. Because why not? All right, I'm gonna Muso in here. Her Musos are pretty good. She has, once her Muso charges up enough, she'll be able to really rock some people with her Muso. go get rid of both of them there's this other dude that just showed up here too but he's not very strong another <laughs> victim continue the assault <laughs> 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 
So now I think what I might need to do is start getting ready to head over towards Hanzo because I think he's about to do his thing where he pops up. Be very careful here. He should pop up soon. We won't be far behind. Only one. There he is. Okay. We got him. There he is. He's popped up. We need to move as quickly as possible and beat him to Yoshimoto. Yoshimoto pops up. There he is. Attack Yoshimoto before Hanzo does. You have to get to there as quickly as possible. Apparently, multiple Hanzos appear at the, at our camp, which is fine. That'd do it. I, I guess it it worked. What's so weird is that so Hanzo pops up. He still goes towards Yoshimoto. He's moving towards him. He's on his side. And now that's it. That's weird. Well, we did it. I forgot that that was how weird that... That's a weird ending to that cutscene, I guess. I mean, you, you beat him there. He still goes over there, and so he's just chilling next to Yoshimoto, and Yoshimoto's probably like, hey, what what are you doing here? And then he didn't he never explains it. <laughs> so that's very funny. Um I'm gonna protect Yo Nobumori Sakuma. He's pretty beat up. She does a lot of flipping. <laughs> She's a very interesting character because like when she's running around you're like what is her weapon and it like the picture looks different from like what all of her pictures look different i think she technically has like a little dagger and some stars and some bombs and stuff like that so you're like all right cool but then it's like one of the pictures like i think her first weapon looks like it was a the picture looks like a blade and then some of the pictures don't look like blades so it's pretty it's pretty weird i'm gonna Finish up doing my thing where I take every stronghold. Nobunaga's gonna max out in troops, which is pretty cool. That's kind of like what I go for when I do this. I shall hold nothing. Nobumori is beat up. I want to keep him alive. I'll just kind of run over here, weaken all these people because when you're new to the game, your horse is like a one-hit KO on everything, which is pretty sweet. So Nobumori is now going to be alive for a little bit longer at least. Actually, I'm going to go back because I see a little red unit heading towards him. And if it's Hanzo's, it could easily kill him and it probably is something from Hanzo. It is. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll just end the level. So this was what I wanted to have happen. We beat everything. We did. It. We were efficient with our completionist thing. It's easier to do one level than do it twice. So we got everything that we wanted to done here in one try. So you have to make Hideyoshi die, which is, again, very challenging. Do it the way I did and you should be fine. And then be ready for Hanzo because when Hanzo pops up, he starts heading towards Yoshimoto very quickly. You don't have a lot of time to react. Before he gets there, and when he gets there, he slashes Yoshimoto and does some damage to him. And it doesn't really, it doesn't end the game, obviously. But it weakens him, and it's considered a failure, even though that's, like, not the point. So I'm a little bit weird about that, but it's fine. Um, we kept all of our generals alive, except for Hideyoshi, of course. And that's pretty cool, because... Usually Nobumori, because of where he's positioned, he dies. And obviously he was close to dying, so we kept him alive, which is good. But we did it. Um, I'm going to weaken, get rid of these two gates for the experience, because when you say, do this game more than once, when you're efficient, you don't get as much experience in the fact that you uh, don't have as many, you don't do the level again. But I'm going to get rid of Hanzo. He's just chilling here without any bodyguards, and it's really weird because he's... Standing next to the guy he was trying to murder. You'd think that he would at least retreat. But he literally just stands there next to Yoshimoto like, sup. I guess 
Yoshimoto would be convinced that it's true and that he's on his side because Ieyasu was on his side, but it's just, it's a weird thing, and I love that mission because it's like kind of what ends up happening when you uh, play as Hanzo. You end up slashing him and destroying him, and the level takes a really crazy turn when that happens, so it's really interesting stuff. But we got it. We got it all done. I'm going to get rid of Yoshimoto now, and that should end the level. It's weird that, like, who moved? One of our generals moved. Alright, it was Nobumori. Nobumori randomly attacks Yoshimoto, which is really weird. And literally nobody else moves on our side. I find that to be very bizarre. Because you'd think that, like, after Hanzo fails that attack, you'd think that everyone would, like, you know, maybe attack Yoshimoto still, since that's why we're here. But it doesn't happen that way. It's very strange. I'm gonna throw some bombs. I was hoping that would kill him. Alright, the last one got him. So we did it. So thank y'all for watching. Hope this was efficient for y'all, and enjoy the rest of the video. Despicable.